<laughs> Welcome to How to Bunny Hop Part 3 of 3. Today we'll be teaching you guys how to do the American Bunny Hop, the most useful type of bunny hop. Most important part of getting your American Bunny Hop is lifting the front wheel up the right way. So the proper technique for this is called the manual. The technique of the American Bunny Hop is fundamentally different from that of the English Bunny Hop. The English Bunny Hop is a technique that involves lifting both wheels at the same time. If you don't know how to do that, make sure to check out my video up there. In the American Bunny Hop, you're actually going to be lifting the front wheel of the bike and then lifting the back wheel up. This technique is used mostly for hopping over things and it's also used to increase the amount of height you can get off jumps. So the first step in getting your American Bunny Hop is lifting the front wheel, as I previously stated. And then once you've lifted the front wheel, you want to explode upwards with your back and throw your weight forwards. This, if you've got the right technique for lifting the back wheel, should scoop the rear wheel up. Now some people may start out with this kind of awkward bunny hop where they just lift the front wheel and then lift the back wheel and stay all stiff and stuff. What you want to do is lift the front wheel up to a position where the bike is lifted up as high as possible with the front wheel, except instead of manualing backwards like this, like you would normally do, you want to keep your weight over the front when you lift up and then explode upwards with your lower body while keeping your toes pointed down and pushing backwards with them. Once you are airborne with both wheels, you want to bend your legs in order to scoop the rear wheel so that it doesn't just get as far as you exploded, which may only be here. But if you bend your legs up into yourself, you can get up here. A lot of people I've heard who are trying to learn how to bunny hop use the excuse of, oh, my bike's not good enough, oh, my bike can't do this, my bike can't do that. I can bunny hop on any bike. All it takes is your weight transfer. Some bikes may be really heavy and have not an aggressive geometry. And if that's the case, you may want to start out trying to learn it on somebody else's bike. But really, you're not going to have that problem unless your bike's from 1970. You can bunny hop hardtails. You can bunny hop full suspension bikes which is a bit harder because you actually need to worry about preloading the suspension and then exploding up instead of just preloading into the ground and exploding up. Once you're in the air, you may want to just stiffen up and then land like this. But if you're on a BMX bike like this, it's really going to hurt your wrists and your toes. You come down and hit really hard. What you want to do is pretend like you're the suspension of the bike. You don't want to be stiff and make the bike do the work for it, for you, you want to do the work for the bike. So when you land, you absorb the impact with your arms, absorb the impact with your legs. You basically just absorb the impact of the ground with your body so that you don't mess up your body or your bike. Because landing really hard on a BMX or a no suspension rigid bike can mess up your handlebars. One more tip is that the higher you lift the front wheel, the higher that your back wheel can get. So if you're lifting your front wheel a little bit and then scooping the back wheel up to here, your bunny hop's never going to be able to do anything. If you're trying to bunny hop on a box in a skate park or if you're trying to bunny hop over a, a log in the woods, you can't get your front wheel higher than your back wheel, then your bunny hop's useless. Another tip on bunny hopping is to know how to loop out. This is kind of like manualing. An English bunny hop, it's not a big deal because you're going straight up, all your force is going straight up. But in an American bunny hop, if you really lift the front wheel up, you can flip over the back. And if you're on any bike, you should just jump backwards and then run along behind it. Doesn't matter whether you're using this bike or this bike, you can still do a bunny hop and you still need to learn how to loop out. A bunny hop is a vital technique in both mountain biking, trials, and BMX. Here's some of the ways you can use it. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. 
Make sure to click this little dot up here so you won't miss any more videos from MTB365. If you want to see the rest of the videos on how to bunny hop, click down here. If you want to see a review of this bike, make sure to click right here.